Most modern technological devices have one thing in common. They need magnets to work. These tiny but essential components often contain rare earths, elements that allow the best magnets to generate strong magnetic fields, while being extremely hard to demagnetize. However, rare earths are considered critical raw materials, not only because of their difficult and environmentally harmful extraction, but also because of their supply risk and price volatility. As most of the production is located in China, where export quotas are limited, in addition, they lose their strength when they are subjected to high temperatures, common in industrial processes. To help solve this long-standing problem, the European Commission has funded Amphibian, a project in which we would explore the possibilities of ferrite magnets, a greener alternative, which is also more resistant to high temperatures, and more available and affordable than rare earths. The challenge lies in enhancing the magnetic fields that current ferrite magnets create, as they are still weak in comparison to rare earth magnets. This is why at Amphibian, we are altering ferrite magnets' composition and structure to improve their strength, so that they can replace rare earth magnets in some industrial and technological uses. The project has a broad approach. We run numerical simulations of ferret magnets on both atomic and macroscopic scales in order to optimize their properties and manufacturing process. We are also studying magnetic powder composition, particle shapes and sizes, and structural properties of dense magnets made of said powder. To make the ferret magnets market ready, we will devise and upscale their manufacturing to optimize the use of resources, reducing costs and recycling much of the waste. Most importantly, the amphibian technology will set a basis for eco-friendly applications, such as a flywheel we are developing for the storage and delivery of renewable energy. Amphibian, creating new, rare earth-free magnets for a greener technological industry.